Hi, it's Purple Jan here. Welcome to my channel, Tales from a Broken Brain. And this is where I just record my daily life living with my fur babies, my three dogs, and um, obviously my husband, Neil, is not very, well, I was gonna say he's not very, he is. He's always <laughs> covered in dog fur. Um, but it's just normal life with um, a brain injury and, and dogs. And he's got the camera right in my face and I feel like I should do that now. But anyway, what I'm doing today is an honest review of my new vacuum cleaner. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you may know that I have something of a collection of cleaners because I'm always searching for the ultimate one that's going to clean up the mess from all the dogs and, and my son and my husband. So, I have recently purchased the Shark Corded Upright. Would you like to show what I'm I missed the unboxing because I completely taken it out and started using it be before I even thought about doing an unboxing but this is the box that it comes in and it gives um, demonstrations of of how you use it and um, it's the lift away one so you can completely take the the canister off and use the long hose and and the head which appeals to me and it's got the anti anti tangled technology on it which is what really sold it to me because I've got long hair that falls out all the time bear bear this dog has got long hair which come it's quite long hair and it comes out in in handfuls so we've always got a lot of fur to pick up from him which tangles all around um stairs are always a problem for me so the thought of being able to take it off for the stairs was was a good idea although in reality i find this part of it is too heavy to carry the whole time remember i'm an old lady <laughs> so i actually balance it on the stairs while i'm doing that part of it so anyway this is uh my honest review hold on i will actually get the cleaner which has been used so it's not in a spotless condition and I'll tell you what I love and what I hate about it. So this is the clean. And the first thing is, before I got it, I checked on the weight of it, which seemed to be comparable to the Dyson, Hoover, etc., etc., the upright cleaners. But for some reason, this actually feels much heavier. It's uh, not supposed to be, but I actually find it quite a weight to, to use. Now, the things that I absolutely love on it i should have plugged it in for this bit is it's got twin headlights there and it's also got a green light right so what i do like are the headlights at the front if i just turn it on they should go up. The headlights there. just shows you the the roller bar going around the headlights on the headlights are excellent so if you're um even if you've got the old headlights on if you're ho uh, hoovering or, or should i say vacuuming into or under a cor into a corner or under something where you need that extra bit of light that is an excellent feature that i really like the green light um is supposed to turn red when it's um when the filters are, are coated but I had that on my Bosch Athletes and when I had to have um, an engineer out to replace the battery on that and I said I think it's broken because the red light's never gone on and he said yours never will love he said yours is too clean you clean yours too much so I do have a bit of a thing about hoovers uh, or vacuum cleaners I empty them after every single use and then once a month I strip the whole thing down and clean it out properly to try and keep it all nice and clean and fresh smelling. So that's just um, something that I do. So I like that. It's got this, um, I like the fact that the hose is permanently attached to it in a similar way to a Dyson so that you haven't got to go and get a hose from the, um, the Hoover Hurricane that I was using before this. Um, allowed for it to be carried on the hoover all the time but that kind of got abandoned after the first week or so and 
the, the, the hose lived in the cupboard. So to, to actually do any crevice work or do the stairs, you've got to go to the cupboard and start attaching it separately. Whereas with this one, um, it lifts off quite easily, which is good. And then you can put the tools on. You've got two of the tools carried actually on, on board. You've got the, the nozzle one. And you've got the um, the one with the felty bit. I can't find a place for an onboard carry for the um, the stairs tool. Which um, hold on a second, I will get it to show you. That is the smaller tool for the stairs. So as I say, I can't find an onboard carry place for that. Then when you want to actually lift off and um, and do the stairs, it's just these two bits here which you just lift up and the whole thing lifts off really easily. So I haven't yet, I've, I only bought it um, Friday last week, so I've had it a week, so I haven't yet got to the point of opening it up and doing filters and things like that. But day one, this bit here, where you plug in to keep the hose tucked in I found that as I'm in use it just pops off all the time it just doesn't hold it in there properly so that was the first thing that I found wasn't good didn't live up to expectations so that's it then um, as I say the the actual when you're lifting that up and attaching the um, no, sorry, I've done that completely wrongly. That's that's just to, to empty it. To to do the lift off where you lift the whole thing, it's heavy because you've got the motor in that bit, so you're actually carrying the motor part around with you. And then you can... You've got that that you can use as a carry-round hand thing, which is okay, but it's it's got quite a bit of weight to it. But then while, while we've got this off, that's the anti-tangle anti brush, which um, oh. to actually, um, we, we did find on, on one day that that completely got tangled up, although the, with dog hair and things, although the instruction book did say if it does get full just leave it and eventually it will comb out but then you've got a, a bit on the side there to lift this roller bit roller out so you can then clean that and um, I'm not overly fond of this um, this roller itself actually now I can't see to get it in because I'm doing it from an odd angle but that's is that clipped back in, Neil? I can't I don't see know. from here. I don't know where it's supposed to be in the first place. Well, that clips back in anyway, even if I've done that bit wrongly. I'll have to redo it. Well, I can't see how else it would go other than just snapping in there. I've, I've only got partial use of my left hand and uh, I'm coming at it from a weird angle so that Neil can film it. So I think that's done it, but... I'm not entirely sure. So that's the main part of the hoover. Then what I found is when you're putting the whole thing back together again, that's the front, isn't it? And so it slots on there. But this is just personal for me. Um, when I finished using it, I would take the tank off and take it to empty it. But in between doing that, I would put the cord back on. But I find with the cord on, this thing doesn't go back on properly. It kind of gets where the cord goes, it gets caught up. And also the cord's got a quick release. A lot of the upright hoovers have got that nowadays. So that it just all falls off there. But this one has a little lip 
that means it doesn't actually just fall off easily. So mm. sometimes you've got to manually unwind the whole thing. So I think that design feature is actually a design fault there. You know, it's, it's fine for holding one bit in place, but I just find it irritating. So hold on a minute, I'll unplug it in and then I can wind it up. Okay. Yeah, see, that's popped out, hasn't it? And these tools sometimes do just pop off while you're using it, which is a little bit annoying as well. And I've noticed on other Hoover cables, they seem to tangle more than the... They used to come with like a grey coating on the wire and these ones, um, you said as well, didn't you, Neil? Yeah. You've noticed a difference in the wires, that they're not as good as they used to be. You know, a lot of things, the improvements aren't nearly as good as the old thing used to be. And then it... Plug just clips in there and then I just tuck it in so you haven't got the plug sticking in like that. But with those wires there, it makes it a two-handed job to get this tank back on. And then the actual use of it, I find it extremely heavy. To actually release it, you've got to do your foot bit. Well, that's one thing, but then to steer it, it's... um. All in the hand you, you've got you turning that way and that way which is fine if you have the strength in your arm and your hand and your wrist I don't necessarily have it so I find that really quite hard to do I can't remember what that bits for I'll have to look that up So the actual steering of it, I find not good. But to me, the biggest thing is its efficiency. And I find that I, I vacuum with the dogs. I have to vacuum on a daily basis. And I just do what I, I would turn as a run round. I'm not pulling furniture out. I'm not going into corners. I'm not going down the edges. I just do the main areas on a daily basis to keep it all under control. And I find after doing it with this one, I'm exhausted. Whereas when I do it with my, the, the one that preceded this, the Hoover Hurricane, it, it's hard work, but not nearly as hard work as this one is. But um, the proof of the pudding really is in what it picks up. So what I'm going to do, and I've done my got, bedroom, the landing, the stairs. I've only got five minutes filming left from this. in the hall. So this is the total um, it does seem to pick up the, the little bits, but the actual amount of hair it's picking up is, is very little. Let me just slot that back on there. And it's so little, because normally I'd have to empty the, the vacuum cleaner a few times on the way around. Do you want to pause it while we get the other yeah. thing? So today, having done all my normal vacuuming, I repeated the exact same area with my Hoover Hurricane. And this was um, empty before I started. And remember, I've done it all with the shark. That's so a pull that's one. what that left behind. And so all in all, it's I'm not, actually not impressed. The shark isn't fit for purpose. And is going back to the shop today. It was £199 from Argus. 
and I think when it leaves that amount left on in on the carpet which is what I would expect on a daily basis because I've got the dogs you know I've got three dogs there's my hair there's bear's hair this is you this is all part of you and that's just and it's not, not it's about a quarter of what you know it shouldn't have left any of that other stuff I mean it is picking up the um I don't know what you like the dusty dirt you know the dander the dead skin the the dry dry mud I suppose that the dogs well, it well is, they don't but, bring in that much but the other machine the is still picking up that yeah, as the well is still it's, picking that up, it's not but... like it's just not picking up the hair yeah it's the other stuff it's, as well so in a direct comparison I think it's failed miserably and I would say that certainly in terms of would I recommend it to somebody of I'm um, early 60s I wouldn't recommend it to somebody of my age I don't think I'd be strong enough to use that in five or, or ten years time would you recommend it to somebody who wants a clean home mm, probably not because that's a lot left on the floor isn't it and I keep thinking am I doing something wrong but I've been vacuuming all my well I was gonna say all my adult life and some of my teenage years at home as well you know I'm I've had various different Hoover models I've had three different Dysons I've got two Bosch Hoovers I've never had this sort of performance that reminds me of the old carpet sweepers you know that didn't have a motor in that you just go backwards and forwards for hours with yeah and it's it's a lot of work a lot of effort for very little effect so Sorry, shark. Done. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you like the, the dirt videos that I do. We've got, if one thing we've got a lot of in this house is with dogs, we've got hair, we've got dander, we've, there's a lot of cleaning to be done to keep it halfway decent and, um, as you can see, that is one day's vacuuming. Well, all of this between the two of them. They, both the tanks were completely emptied out before we started, and that is just one day. Didn't even go into Neil's room or missed out two of the bedrooms, and I didn't do the stairs with the um, with the Hoover because it, the tank was filling up and we couldn't have got a lot more in there. So. That's actually covered more ground with the with the stairs as well, and the, no, I did the stairs and the hallway with that one. Didn't do the stairs or hallway properly with that one. So it's, that's covered considerably more ground and did the first one. So it should should have been the easiest to pick things up. Wrap it up. Oh, he's saying wrap it up. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.